Today we're going to look at area. So common units for area include square kilometres, square metres, square centimetres, square millimetres and hectares, HA. So these are the different abbreviations for each of the different units. And when we start talking about area, we start moving from a one-dimensional idea of length. So length is along one dimension, it's in one direction, uh, to area which spreads out over a larger, um, a larger field and it works in two dimensions. So we started out with one, one direction and now we're expanding out in another direction as well. So we've got two directions, two dimensions, two dimensions and these are the units that we can use to measure those two dimensions in. When we're looking at area, we look at things like wall space that we might need to paint uh, and know the amount of, um, of paint we need to cover a certain area. When we're looking at uh, working in our backyard for um, landscaping and, and grass area and things like that as well. Also in larger applications of engineering um, and, and that sort of thing where we look at, at larger areas. So here are the conversions between the different units. So if we're going from square kilometres to square metres, we multiply by a thousand squared. Notice that when we were going from just kilometres to metres, we would multiply by a thousand. But now we're looking in two dimensions. We need to square the number of um, the, the the number of um, the conversion that we've got. Um, so square kilometres to square metres, we're multiplying by a thousand squared. Meters, uh, square meters to square centimeters, we're multiplying by 100 squared, and square centimeters to square millimeters, we're multiplying by 10 squared, and dividing by 10 squared going in the opposite direction, dividing by 100 squared from square centimeters to square meters, and, and dividing by 1,000 squared going from square meters to square kilometers. So each of these is a different unit. We don't need to square or anything else. They're just, they're a unit that describes an amount of area. So one square metre is one metre by one metre. It's a one metre along one, in one direction and a metre along in another direction to encompass a full area. Likewise, one square centimetre is one centimetre in one direction and one centimetre in another direction to make a little square, a one centimetre square. We've also got a conversion from hectares to these other units. One hectare is equal to 10,000 square metres. So if I've got 10,000 square metres, that's the same as one hectare. So if I wanted to convert five hectares to square metres, I'd need to multiply that five hectares by 10,000 to make 50,000 square metres. Likewise, if I'm going the other way I'm, and I've got Five uh, five thousand square meters. I would need to divide by ten thousand to go the opposite direction uh, to to go to hectares. So if we're going from hectares to square meters, we need to uh, multiply by ten thousand. And if we're going from square meters to hectares, we need to divide by ten thousand. So that that five thousand square meters in hectares would be half a hectare, one half of a hectare. So looking at three common shapes that we might find the areas for, here we've got a square. Squares have all the same side lengths and all of the interior angles, the inside angles there are 90 degrees. So the area of a square is the length of one side squared. So that length of one side times the length of one side to get the full area, the square, the area of the square. To find the area of a rectangle, a rectangle has different uh, two different sized um, side lengths, but uh, still 90 degree interior angles, angles on the inside there. And to find the area of the rectangle, we multiply the length times the width of the rectangle. This is the length along here and the width. So we take the length, multiply it by the width, and that gives us the area. Finally, for the area of a triangle, if we have the base of the triangle along here, B, the base of the triangle, and then uh, drawing a line perpendicular from the base up to the top of the triangle, the height, that is the height there. 
of the triangle that it's called the perpendicular height because it's perpendicular which means at right angles to the base so it's at right angles it is perpendicular to the base so the area of the triangle is one half multiplied by the base multiplied by that perpendicular height there now the areas of composite shapes can be found by adding or subtracting the areas of more basic shapes. If we, can, if we can divide it up into more basic shapes, then we can just add or subtract those away from each other to give the area of that composite shape. A composite shape means that it's composed of more than one basic shape. Composite means composed of. Uh, so if we had this shape here, we can divide it up into two separate areas. We've got an area here that looks like a, um, a rectangle and we've got an area here that looks like a triangle. So the total area is going to be area one, A sub one here, plus A sub two, the second area here. So that area one, the formula for the area of a, of a rectangle is gonna be the length times width of the rectangle, plus one half times the base times the height of the area two here, of area two, the triangle. First example, let's look at converting these area measurements to the units shown in brackets. So here we've got 0.248 square metres and we need to convert that to square centimetres. And here we've got 3100 or 3100 square millimetres and we need to convert that to square centimetres. So going from 0.248 square metres to square centimetres, we need to multiply by 100 square. So multiplying 0.248 by 100 squared, we get 2,480 square centimetres. To convert from 3,100 square millimetres to centimetres, we need to divide by square, uh, 10 squared, and that gives us 31 square centimetres. Note, because we're going from a large area to a smaller, so a smaller portion area, that means we're going to need to multiply um, because the, there are more centi square centimetres in a square metre. Going the opposite direction, going from a small area to a larger unit area, uh, we need to divide because there are uh, many square millimetres fit into the one square centimetre. Last example, we've got a few shapes here and we need to find the areas of these shapes. So the first shape we've got there is a rectangle. The formula for the area of a rectangle is length times width. So the length we've got there, we can have that as 2 centimetres, multiplied by 6 is 12 square centimetres. Note it doesn't matter which is the length and which is the width, technically they could be either. Um, it's one length does make it sound like it might be the longer side, but it's not necessarily true. It could be either. You can choose whatever you would like. Uh, 12 centimetres squared, squared centimetres. Um, notice that if, even if they were around the other way, 6 times 2 is still 12. Um, so it doesn't matter which uh, order you multiply the numbers in. Looking at our second shape here, it's a triangle with a base of 13 metres and a perpendicular height of 7 metres. So that formula for area of a triangle is a half base times height. So a half times the base of 13 multiplied by 7, the height, and that's equal to 45.5 square metres. Uh, looking at C, now we've got a composite shape. It's made up of, of more basic shapes. You can see we've got a, a rectangle here and a chunk has been taken out of it in the shape of a triangle. So the shape of the triangle here has a base of this same side length here of 10 metres and it's got a perpendicular height of 4 metres. And our, the, our rectangle has a length of 10 metres and, and a width of 6 metres. So the total area here, the total area is going to be the area of the rectangle, the rectangle minus the area of the triangle. We're cutting the area of the triangle out. So that's what, if, if we call the, the rectangle A1 and call the triangle A2, we can take uh, A2, the area of the triangle, away from A1. So area, the area of our shape, the area of our shape here um, is equal to A1, the area of our rectangle, minus the area of the triangle. So the area of the rectangle here is length times width. Uh, length times width is going to be 10 times 6 there. 
um, and the area of, of our triangles are half base times height. The base in this case is 10 centimetres, uh, sorry, 10 metres along here, multiplied by 4 for the height, 4 metres there. So that's going to be 60 minus taking away 20, and that's 40 square metres. For our last shape here, uh, once again we've got a composite shape, we can divide it up into two shapes here, we can divide it up into A1 and A2. And the total area, total area is going to be A1 plus A2. A1, here we've got these two side lengths are the same, so that's going to be a square in there. It's going to be a square in there, and we're going to have a rectangle here. So the formula for the area of a square is L squared, plus the formula for the area of our rectangle, L times width. The length of our uh, square is 3 squared, and the length of our rectangle is 1 millimetre. The width of our rectangle is 1.2 millimetres. So uh, don't don't get confused between that. These are these are different lengths. Uh, this is the length for area one, and this is the length for area two. So area one was a square, and area two is a rectangle. So that'll be three squared, three millimetres squared plus one times 1.2 there, and. Uh, putting that into a calculator, we get 9 plus 1.2, which is 10.2 square millimetres.